Hello, this is Byron Woodson bringing to you the Instant Understanding course. So in this little chapter, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you and tell you what I promise that you'll get from this course. Easy peasy, right? So you're going to get faster and smarter, of course. I'm going to tell you who this is for and what you get specifically, and I'll tell you the benefits of Instant Understanding. Now, Instant Understanding. What this course is, it's the world's first and fastest brain-based course to teach you how to understand everything better and faster than anyone else. So my assertion is that because we look at all of the pieces of the brain and what they do and how they have an effect in your learning, that when you know exactly what understanding is and how it works, that you're going to get a lot better at it. Just like if you're going to get better at tennis, you're going to need a racket. If you're going to get better at tennis, you're going to need a tennis ball. If you're going to get better at baseball, you need a bat and a, and a baseball, of course. Once you have the tools that you need, you can understand everything else. So, And one of the reasons this is also the fastest brain-based course to teach you how to understand everything better and faster than anyone else is because I'm going to teach you the secret up front. No waiting. Here it is. Understanding happens in the parietal lobe of your brain. People talk about the left brain and the right brain. The left brain being logical and sequential and the right brain being holistic and visual. People talk about how the memories in the cerebellum, how your higher level thought is in your frontal lobe. But I'm saying that understanding happens in the parietal lobe of your brain. And you understand things when you understand how they move. So if you see a ball rolling and then all of a sudden it jumps up into the sky, you think it probably hit a rock. If you see a car screeched or a halt, you think the driver probably slammed on the brakes. They might have saw a kid. They might have saw a dog. They might have saw a red light. They might have saw a cop. But you understand that some braking went on. So when you understand something, your brain calculates and figures out the causal relationship between what's happening and whatever you're thinking of and that's the big secret now throughout the course we're going to talk a lot about, more about this and how you can make it better and make it easier for yourself to use these while speed reading while listening to audio tapes while listening to lectures and just talking to people all right now we're going to get faster than anyone else these are two of the fastest humans on the planet on the left we have Usain Bolt, who is the fastest man in short distance, and on the right we have Kipchoge. I think that's his name. I'm going to re-record this because I probably messed it up. Now, the reason they're faster than anyone else is they have great mechanics. They know exactly what they need to be doing for every step of their race. How their feet should fly up, how their knees should move, their arms. They have perfect mechanics in order to make them aerodynamic as well as very very powerful the other thing they have is maniacal practice i mean you know if you're going to become the fastest man in the world you got to sprint a lot if you're going to become the fastest man in the world in a two-hour marathon you have to do a lot of miles so it's not like they just walk up or woke up out of bed and started running fast it took years and years of maniacal practice for them to get faster than everybody else now, we don't have to get faster than anybody else. You know, there have been um, research studies on, you know, uh, I guess somebody had a thing where it said 10,000 hours in order to become one of the best to ever do it. So these people, they put in 10,000 hours. For instant understanding, you won't need to put in 10,000 hours. You're probably going to get a lot of your benefits in the first 10 hours. If you're doing rigorous practice and you are following the guidelines that I have later in the course, you won't need to do 10,000 hours. A lot of what you have already read and learned can be counted. But what we're going to do is we're going to get to better, uh, let's say, mental mechanics and put in some maniacal practice for about 10 hours. And you're going to be understanding things faster than anybody else. And the last thing they have is muscle and fuel. You know, they're, they go to the gym, they run fast, they run faster. You know, running fast is your body's version of sprinting without weights, right? Like, so when you run fast, 
oh, it's your body's version of lifting heavy weights. So the faster you go, the harder you have to work. So them trying to push their ability further and further is like, you know, big strength training. And they make sure that they fuel up. So, you know, make sure that you uh, do a little brain stuff and fuel. All right. So who instant understanding for is for students, teachers and avid learners who want to fix broken learning strategies. You want to master what you're trying to learn and improve your curiosity, thinking, and creativity. So what's happening is when you – traditional schooling doesn't teach you everything you need to know to, in order to understand everything a lot better and faster. They just kind of as, assume that you know. Once you say the words, when you read, they're like, oh, okay, cool. Once they write – once your teachers write the formulas on the boards – and they tell you twice, they say, oh, okay, you should know this. And then they give you a test. That's not exactly how everything works for everybody. But so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the specific learning strategies that we have learned for reading and traditional reading, phonics, speed reading. And we're going to show you what's missing. What's missing is a really, really decent understanding of what understanding and comprehension is and how they work in the brain. So... Once you understand that and you get understanding is about the movement and the parietal, you know, based on what you get in the parietal lobe, you're going to master what you're trying to learn. So instead of just having a cursory understanding or re remembering the words in a mind map, you're going to really understand the mechanics of what goes on. And when that happens, what you're going to do is you're going to improve your curiosity, your thinking, and your creativity. You're going to improve your curiosity because you're going to start understanding things, and then you're going to see what doesn't make sense. So, you know, like one of the one of the phases to get to understanding is a little bit of confusion or uncertainty, where you have a picture in your mind or a simulation that you're working through that doesn't quite work. And when you can start to figure out the parts that do work versus the parts that don't work, you're going to get curious about how the parts that don't work fit into the parts that do so it all works. So that's a lot of thinking. And then when you understand what does work and doesn't work and you start thinking about it and changing things, that's what creativity is. Yeah, thinking creativity, very, very uh, similar processes. Thinking usually is based on what's actually reality. And creativity is based on what's possible from the elements that you were thinking about. So we're doing all this so you can earn more advanced certifications, whether you're in college, whether you're in high school, whether you're in grad school. You want, we want to make sure that you earn a higher certification. And this also includes if you're in the business world. You need to make take some CEU credits. You want to switch jobs. You're going for a different certification or you want to... Uh, you're reading book about a new industry. So what you can do is use everything you learn here in order to get those more advanced certifications. You're going to get faster raises, promotions, and recognition because you're just going to learn stuff faster. And people are like, oh, well, you know, take it to you. And because you learn everything, you have a couple conversations with people, you see what's going on in the company, and you put two and two together, and you make four instead of 2.2. And then you're going to easily be an inspiring lifelong learner. You'll be able to suck up so much knowledge into your brain that you're just going to remember all of these facts. But instead of just these disjointed facts, it's going to form patterns of things that are connected. So when you explain things, people will understand how they relate to their life, how you were inspired by them, and so forth. And we're going to do all this with out assuming or sacrificing comprehension. This is a direct shot at the people that teach you speed reading. I took a speed reading course in 1996. And once the teacher said, you're going to do this with a little less comprehension, I almost tuned out. Now, luckily, the course that I took, we get a lot of uh, great study methods that complemented uh, the quote-unquote lack of comprehension. Because, you know, why... Why read faster if you don't know what's going on? That doesn't make sense to me. So we're not going to do that. We're going to actually increase your comprehension, which will naturally allow you to read faster. You know, so if you're running or training, when you do it over and over and over again, you naturally get faster and it becomes easier. We're not going to use any gimmicks. 
And we're not going to constantly review stuff that you didn't understand the first time. So we're not going to do Pomodoro method learning or spaced repetition or anything like that. We're going to understand it the first time and then that's it. All right. So the main benefits of instant understanding are it's going to increase your capacity for expertise. You're just going to get good at some fundamental things so that you can become an expert in many, many different areas. You're going to understand whatever you read or listen to with more depth and speed. So instead of you saying, oh, OK, I didn't get that, you're going to be like, oh, OK, that makes sense. You're going to master complex topics in record time. So if you're listening to some chemistry uh, formula that had 15 molecules and last week you could only understand a chemistry formula with 12 molecules because you because you're able to translate that into a visual spatial uh, construct that you can manipulate uh, in your brain you know move it around rotate it flip it and you'll be able to master complex topics in record time including building uh, mechanics of running mechanics of cars all these types of things so you're also going to be able to hit, fix harder problems with less effort because if you understand with more depth and speed and you understand more things and how they relate to each other, you're going to see hard problems as smaller um, problems that can be solved in a particular sequence and you'll be able to fix the larger problem with less effort. You're going to, get, like I said, faster recognition promotions and raises. And you're going to unleash creativity at every age. So you don't have to just be creative when you're young. You can be creative in many, many ways as you get older and with more things that you know about. And a byproduct of all of these is you're going to read and listen faster with increased comprehension. So just to let you know, when I listen to um, audiobooks by myself, not with my kids, uh, I usually listen at two times speed. If it's really heavy material, it's like 1.5 because I want to you know, compare what the author is saying to what I already know. But that's just normal for me. I, after having taken the speed reading course, when I'm really trying to learn something, I've found that professors and people teaching online courses, they don't give me enough information per minute. So uh, I also have a, a back of the napkin promise that people won't be able to listen to or read this course at high speed because I'm giving you so much information you're going to have to slow down. We'll see about that. All right, cool. So that's what you, that's what you got. Well, you know, if you can stay awake, I know it might be boring. Haha. <laughs> so you're going to get faster and smarter. You un already understand who this is for and what you what you and other people like you get from this and you see the benefits of instant understanding.